Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you exactly how to make a video from scratch using Canva. And I'll show you the free version of Canva so you can follow along. There is a paid upgrade to Canva too that does have some benefits. I'll point them out if you decide to update. But everything I'm gonna show you in this video is gonna be on the free version. And this could work for any platform you could imagine. You could create ads for YouTube or just regular videos for YouTube. You could create vertical videos for Instagram and TikTok. It could work for any size you could imagine for any platform. Let's jump in and I do have a link to the free version and the paid premium of Canva in the description if you wanna follow along. Now I recommend once you land on Canva, create your free account here so your work could be saved. This actually saves everything on the canva.com platform. Then right here on the homepage of canva.com, you wanna click on video over here and then it's gonna show you a bunch of different videos. And if you're brand new to video, different videos have different sizes and this is mostly depending on the platform you're going into. Traditional video in HD format is 1920 by 1080, what you see over here. But Facebook video, for example, is square, 1080 by 1080. Then you have vertical videos. This is things for TikTok, Instagram, Real, YouTube Shorts, that's vertical, that's 1080 by 1920. So you do have to select here which one you think you're making a video for, which platform. And there's a paid upgrade that lets you actually resize it for every platform with one click. I'll show you that towards the end. You can also create a custom size video. So if you wanna type in the width and the height of the video, I recommend you leave it on pixel here and type that in. But again, the most common one is going to be the traditional video here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the YouTube ad one, 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna press create right over here. Now I'll quickly show you what you're looking at here if you haven't used Canva before, but this right here is basically your canvas. Your video is going to get created over here. And underneath your video is basically your timeline. It's gonna show you every little clip one at a time. So I'm gonna show you once you press play how it plays your whole movie here or your video ad or whatever you're making in this case. And then over here is basically these things called templates that are pre-designed by professionals or Canva where you could drag and drop these into this canvas and design so you don't have to do this from scratch. I always recommend you don't build completely on a blank canvas because it's really difficult to figure out where to start. I create videos professionally for 15 years and I prefer templates than working from scratch. Then on the very left side, you have things like elements, which we'll talk about. These are things that are animated or stickers that you could add. You could upload your own content here. So you could see I've uploaded some images here. You could upload your videos over here and your audio as well. And you have text and these could animate as well. And then there is even more here with different backgrounds and ton of different more advanced features that we're not gonna cover in this short video. So as I recommended, go to the template tab. And one of the easiest way to get started is you could go ahead and on all results, just scroll down and see which one sticks out to you. Or if you know specifically what you're making, so maybe you're making something related to food, you could do the search on top over here. This makes it pretty easy too. Let me press X here and go back to this page. And what you could do with any of these, by the way, you could look at them and see if they have the crown the crown option shows you that they require a Canva Pro. So you see over here, I'm using the free version, but on my Canva Pro accounts, all these become available to me. They're usually a little more high-end than the ones that say free. But again, in the case of this video, we're gonna use the free ones, but that is one of the benefits of Canva Pro. If you do wanna upgrade, the other one is resizing to different platforms. Another option for searching templates is you could go to the Canva homepage just by clicking the logo and you could search video up here as well. And if you press enter, it shows you a different way to browse. I know some people prefer this. And if you were going to start from a blank video, you could just press plus here. But this gives you more options as far as style. Again, I'm gonna choose YouTube in this case to get the right size, get the different themes here. And then it's gonna show me a bunch of different options here to choose from. I'm gonna choose this one right here. I'm gonna just press on it right here. This is one of the free options. And this basically created my template for me. 
and put this video in my canvas. Now, usually I press play down here to preview the video. So it's gonna show you how the text animates. It's gonna show you this video. Now, obviously I'm not gonna use this video. I'm gonna put in my own video, but you kind of get an idea. And let me pause it here. You see how long the video is. This clip is 12 seconds, okay? You could always press plus here to add another page. And if I click this one right here, it's gonna add another clip. Okay, so you see now I have two different clips. Anytime I could press these three dots and delete it. So right now we'll just work with one clip, but anytime you could press plus to add another page and drag from here. And they don't have to be from the same template, by the way. If I press plus add a page, I could drag this one and then my video will go from here to here. Okay, so you could always do that as well. This is basically adding to your video and making it as long as you want. And it shows you the play option up here too and the exact length of your entire video. So if you're trying to make a 30 second ad or a one minute ad, you could basically keep looking up here to make sure you get the right length. All right, let's go ahead and edit our existing video here. The first thing we wanna typically do is we want to go ahead and click here on the video itself. If you have a video playing here and you wanna replace this video with something else, right? You want your own video over here. So this is how simple this is. You could go to the uploads tab right here and upload media and choose any video you've recorded. Or you could press record yourself and give it access to your microphone and camera and record from here. Now I prefer to just use my phone to record these video clips and this one I use the camera obviously but you could drag these videos on top of the existing video and drop it and there is the video just like that. Super easy to add videos to an existing template over here. If I put it on the other side, it's gonna work like a regular video here where I could go ahead and grab the corners and resize it and put it somewhere else, okay? So that's another way to add videos. You don't have to always just put them exactly where the template tells you. I'm gonna press delete here on my keyboard and get rid of the other one. And there it is. Now, if I wanna preview, you could see, I could press preview here and get a full screen preview of what I have so far. And I typically do this from time to time just to see where I ended up. Then I want to edit this text, right? So I'm gonna double click on it and type in my own text, Canva video tutorial. And then I'll double click this other text for beginners. There we go. So I just created that. I could, you know, make any edits to it. And with any text, you have all your text options. Now you're probably familiar with this because pretty much every app lets you pick fonts, lets you change the font size, the font color, bold and italicize in some cases, and you have some effects as well, like drop shadow. Sometimes that looks really good like that, or this kind of shadow. In this case, I'll choose that. And if you wanna move anything, just grab it. And you see, you got a box right here. And actually I gotta get out of text editing mode. So let me go ahead and click away here. Now I'm gonna click back, grab this box and move it over a little bit. So it's not over the video. Now, once I'm done with this, I'm probably gonna record my intro over here and put myself here and use it as the intro to this video. I'm gonna click over here and put in my YouTube channel's name over here and move it all out of the way. So then I could put my own video here, which I haven't imported. But once I do, I will just press upload media here and upload it from my computer. Now, let me show you some animation, okay? And then we'll add some music. But if you click on a text portion here, there's this thing called animate that typically shows up on top. Let me press that. And there's ton of different animation options. So if you just go over each one, it's so, so simple and so easy to preview any one of them. I'm not even clicking on anything, anything, just hovering. So let's say I like this one the best. I'm gonna choose that, changes my animation. I don't have to press save, it's all done. Next, before we add music, let's say we decided that this needs to be exactly 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go down here to my timeline, I'm gonna grab the end and I'm gonna bring it back right on the 15 second mark. So now, if I was to press play, this whole thing is gonna be 15 seconds and actually that's even too long. Let's go ahead and just make it 10 seconds. Okay, so if you wanted to resize any clip, the length of any clip, it's that simple. 
grab the corner or the grab the end here and bring it back, you could change the beginning as well and have it start a little bit later. Again, if you want to add a page, which in this case is just another clip, they call it a page here, but it's just a clip that will go after this clip. You could just press the plus sign and then you get a blank canvas here and then you could go back to templates here and drag something or you could just add a video, right? You don't have to go to the template page. I could just, let me see, for example, add this video right here and some items you could right click on and you could go ahead and set it as video background in this case and it's gonna fill the whole image and I could add other elements to it. So just for the sake of showing you how to do this without a template, I added a background video. Again, if I press play, it's gonna show me what it is. Then I could go to text and I could add text. So I could add a text like this, okay? And then with any text, I could double click it, right? You could go ahead and change it like that, change the color over here. I'll choose black so you could actually see what it says. Okay, there we go, I'm clicking away. You could select this whole box over here and you could animate this as well. So I could animate just plain text with the animation option. So that's kind of cool. I'll choose that. Let me go ahead and press play to preview what it looks like, right? It's not looking great because of the font color, but you get the idea here of how you add text from scratch on top of a video and animate. And there's this thing called elements, which is really cool. You could see all kinds of elements and search for them. So if you want a subscribe icon for YouTube, you could go ahead and look that up and some of them animate like this. So I could grab it and put it here, grab the corners and resize it and maybe put it um, right. Let me grab the right stuff here, put it right over here or right over here, right? You get the idea with all these different options. You could literally pick any, put them here, make them smaller and put it anywhere within your canvas. This is why I don't recommend designing from scratch by the way, because look how good this template looks versus when I'm just randomly picking things, right? This would take me much longer to make something that looks good. This already looks good from scratch, but that's the difference between creating a clip or what's called a page here from a template versus doing it from scratch. Now let's say I'm done over here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete this one. I have a 10 second video file. Now, typically at this stage, I would like to add some music. So I'm gonna go to the more option over here and I'm gonna look for audio. So I'm gonna choose audio here. Music might just show up over here for you. And there's a bunch of different audio files. Again, some require the pro option. That's another benefit of the pro, right? You get more options in pretty much every category from text to elements to audio. But if you do like a song, you could go ahead and preview any song by pressing play here. And I just have my computer on mute, but if you just grab it and add the song, it's drag and drop. And by default, it makes it the length of my page here, right? So it's really easy. I don't have to make any trims to it. But if I wanted to, you know, I could shorten here so it's only playing through half my clip. This is a really easy visual representation to understand. My video clip up here is 10 seconds. So it's making my audio clip 10 seconds. And if I press play on top, now it's playing it with music, again, which I have muted. And lastly, I'll show you this resize option before we actually finish this up. But if you press resize, this is sort of the benefit of the paid version of Canva because you could custom resize this to multiple different shapes and sizes. So I could basically make a Facebook post and an Instagram post all from the same video without actually having to do much from redesigning this completely from scratch. Now, this is a super simple design, right? So it didn't take me much time, but this does save you a ton of time if you wanna create one thing and then resize it for a ton of different platforms so you don't have to recreate over and over again. And finally, let's go ahead and finish this up. Let's say this is my final product. I'm gonna press the download option right over here. Now here, MP4 is the suggested video quality, which is what I recommend for pretty much anybody making video for any website. So MP4 is good, it's perfect for YouTube and pretty much any social media platform. So I'm gonna leave it there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press download over here. And just like that is compressing and getting my video ready. 
it's basically going to download it to my computer. And then from there, I could go to YouTube.com. I could go to TikTok.com. Whatever I'm choosing, I could do directly from my computer. I could always send it via email too or use the Canva app so I could get the same file on my phone easily. And if you press these three dots, you could see other options. So if you want to just share a link for people to watch or present this or any of these options that you see over here, they're available. And once the download is done, I should see this little icon right here on the bottom. It's showing me the progress of the download. And there it is. It's downloaded to my computer. So I could go ahead and press play. And now I'm basically looking at this file on my computer and it's ready to go. Let me go ahead and shrink it down. But it's nice HD quality video with animated text and music all done on Canva for free. And if you go back to the home page now, because the way Canva saves everything to your account, if you have made an account, everything is going to appear over here for you. And you could go to all your folders here and look at all your designs. And it's going to show you what I just did as my last design. I could always jump back in and it saved my entire progress. I could make edits to this at any time. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do make videos just like this every single day, walking you through the creative process of many different apps and walkthroughs step by step. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.